IP adapter for Flux is out and I'm going to show you how to install that in an easy way for Conf UI and then run it in a workflow. But before we check that out, let's have a look at the best images from last week's daily challenges. So in the first image, we have here this kind of alternative timeline. We have a vintage photo from the last century, but at the same time, they are sitting on a MacBook checking out something maybe on the internet. Pretty cool. I love this kind of alternative history theme. In the next one, we have here a very emotional portrait of a cyborg touching his machine heart. There's sparks coming out of that. There's some bokeh in here. Beautiful light, a nice combination of blue and orange tones. Everything about that is very expressive and cinematic at the same time. For the next image, we have this interesting landscape that is either for people who are very bad at tasking or who love the cinema popcorn because in the foreground, you can see all these kind of papers with writing on them. And in the background, it looks like a really nice buttery popcorn. So that is really cool. And I love the detail in that image. In the next one, you have this endless floating library, which is very nice. Here is also a more detailed view and it really looks amazing. This is something where you want to play the video game or watch the movie also has a little bit of this kind of Harry Potter vibe to it. In the next one, we have a combination of cyberpunk and nature. It reminds me a little bit of the tree of life. We also have this kind of depth of field effect in here that looks really cool. This kind of 3D effect, love the details and the different textures. So that also is really, really nice. And then we have a world made of recycled materials. And this is kind of the style that you find in these kind of recycling back prints and stuff like that. It's a little bit vintage and a little bit handmade. So it looks pretty cool. And yeah, you have a world that is sharing clothes with each other, which I find is a pretty good idea. And then in the land before time, we have something that looks like God or is it Odin or is it Zeus? Well, we have a old guy here. He's looking at a glass filled with a world that he maybe is creating or orchestrating or whatever you want it to be. But it looks pretty epic. And again, is a scene of a movie I would love to watch. And now let's get started with the tutorial for today. So the first thing we need to do here is to check out the Xlabs AI Hugging Face page. Here we have the Flux IP adapter. They have a Discord. I highly recommend if you have any questions or any problems to join their Discord and ask the questions there. Then when you scroll down a little bit, you see there is a workflow for that that you can download, you can open very easy to use. You scroll a little bit deeper and here you have the instructions on how to install that for Conf UI. So you have to go to custom nodes and there you have to clone this repo. And basically what you need to do is you copy up here the web address. Then you go into your Conf UI folder. In there you go into the custom nodes folder in there, you click into the address bar and write CMD and hit enter. When this opens up, you write git clone and then paste in the web address and hit enter. Now this is downloading the files you need to run this, but we are not done yet. After this has been downloaded, you find the Xflux Conf UI folder and you want to open that up. Inside of that folder, you find a setup py file. You want to double click on that. So it is automatically running and downloading some additional files for you. Then to run all of that, we also need some models. Now, when we go back here to the hugging face page, you can see that they tell you to download the clip L model and they link it to the OpenAI vid clip large source here. You can do that, but I found that they also have that file in their files folder on their hugging face page right here. And then they also tell you to download the IP adapter for hugging face. And in both cases, they tell you exactly 
where to put these models. So like I said, you have this page here for the Xlabs AI Flux IP adapter. So when you scroll to the top, you have here files and versions. Click on that and here you will find three files. And as you can see, the first file is the Clip Vision L. The second file is the Flux IP adapter safe tensor. And then also you have the workflow. So the first one is, of course, our Clip Vision. And you want to download that into the models folder. And in there, into the Clip Vision folder, if there is no Clip Vision folder yet, create one that is Clip underscore Vision from the name. And in there, as you can see, I have the Clip Vision large model up here. Then for the second model, the Flux IP adapter safe tensor file, you want to download that again into the models folder in there. This should have set up for you a Xlab folder. If not, create that Xlabs folder and then open that up. And in there, you will find several other folders. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk about the control nets. So here you have the IP adapters. You want to double click on that and then save the file in here, as you can see. And next, of course, you want to download here the JSON file for the IP adapter workflow. So next, let's check out what the workflow looks like after we have set up everything. And of course, you want to restart Conf UI so that everything installs correctly for you. Now, the first thing that is very important here is as an input image, you want to use here a square image that has the style you want to use. And here we have two nodes, actually. One is an upscale image node that will set the image size to 1024 by 1024. And the other one is an image crop where this is set to a different size. You can change the size here. This would crop it out of that image. So in this case, as you can see, I have this one connected. Now this goes over here into our node for apply flux IP adapter. And of course, here we load the model, we load the IP adapter flux and we load the image. And here you have the strength of the IP adapter as it is applied to the model. So here we load the flux IP adapter. And as you can see here for the IP adapter, I load the flux IP adapter. And then for the clip vision, I load the clip vision L safe tensor model provider CPU in this case. And this is going into our Xlabs sampler over here. Now in the original workflow, when you download it, this is set to 50 steps, which is pretty much, but you can try it out and it probably will give you pretty good quality, but also take some time. So I changed this to 25 steps and I felt I got some pretty good results. However, you will realize down here that this is using Flux1 development FP8 safe tensor model and I found that this is not working with the Schnell model. So there is no way to use it with like six steps or four steps. You have to use a lot of steps to run this. If you don't know how to set up the Flux model in ConfUI, check out this video that I've created for you first and then watch this video again to install everything. After you've set up everything, you can see you have here the positive prompt clip text encoder. And here you basically write what you want to have as the content of the image. But keep in mind that a lot of the content of the image is coming from the IP adapter. So as you can see in this case, we have here the style, we have a woman, we have the long hair and so on. So all of that is already in the image. You don't have to say that again in the prompt. Sometimes you can to improve the quality of the image. So experiment with this. And then here we have the output of a woman with the long hair. She's holding a sign that says hello. So that worked pretty well. And here I have another one where I used as an input the image of a Greek or Roman sculpture and then have the text X lab. So this was the original prompt that comes with the workflow. And again, it works pretty well. Now, personally, I found that this can be a little bit unstable. It crashed several times for me. In that case, just close the command window for ConfUI and start it again. And also sometimes that it didn't really know what to do with the image. So it's a little bit wonky. It's not super precise, but you can experiment with it for style. 
it is really nice, especially these kind of like more simpler styles, especially when the character is looking directly at the camera. So don't do stuff that is too complex or just experiment in any way you want. Thank you very much for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed that. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from that. And tomorrow we're going to check out the control nets for Flux. Thank you and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.